Kieran Gleason writes, hello, Collider Movie Talk crew, love you all. Is there any news on any kind of 2D animated movies in the coming years, whether it'll be from Disney or DreamWorks or whichever studios or John's artist voice? Is this the end of that form of art? (laughs) Would this generation still be open to seeing 2D animated films or will it be Schnepp's 1940s businessman voice? Meh. 3D (laughs) animated as usual in the motion pictures? Meh. Thanks and bring on the filthy. Um, well, as far as I know, there are no 2D animated films, uh, major Hollywood films in the works. Now, uh, Ray actually brought to my attention a story where there's a bunch of veteran Disney animators who are getting together to try to bring some sort of, it looks like some kind of gothic steampunkish kind of 2D animated thing. And I think they're running a Kickstarter of some sort to bring it out. I don't think we've seen the last 2D animated film, but the day of the 2D animated film is gone. Uh, I, I still think we'll see them now and again. I think they'll pop up as, a, as an expressive art form. But I think in many ways you can just do a lot more things with CG animation. There's a lot more you can do. And it is now what this generation of moviegoers is used to seeing. I mean, ever since Toy Story came out 17 years ago, that started a shift in the trend, and now we have a generation of film goers who, when you think animated film, animated film j- means, you know, CGI. That's what it means. 15 years ago, animated film, if you were going to see a CGI animated film, you would say, it's a CGI animated film. Now today, you just say animated film, and it's the assumption that it's CGI. So I think the day of the 2D animated film is gone, but I don't think that means we'll never see them pop up. But I haven't heard of any that has any plans yet. Christian, have you heard of anything? No, I haven't really heard of much. But it's, you know, it's not just moviegoers, too. It's like, look, like, look at even Netflix here. My, my daughter is three and a half, and she watches the Strawberry Shortcake stuff, right? Right. And I promise I'm talking about my daughter, not Mark Ellis. <laughs> um, so, but she, she watched the first season of it was 2D, and then they, then they switched it come, uh, once the second season started. And, I, and I'm wondering that's because even kids, like, she watches all these other shows, and the majority of them are all the, the computer animation, very different from the standard, what we, what we used to know when we grew up. But, uh, so I just think it's just, you're right, John. It's just, it's just a matter of the way that it is today, and it's, and it's easier, and I assume cheaper, to do, and, and, and time-consuming-wise, it makes more sense. So I haven't heard about anything in general. You know, I was at home watching Strawberry Shortcake in 3D <laughs> by myself, and I had this revelation that you are still going to see 2D films in theaters, but it's because Disney's classic movies always have anniversaries right. coming up. So yeah. you are going to see The Lion King celebrate its 35th anniversary and Aladdin celebrate anniversaries and have limited runs back in theaters. But even when The Lion King came out a couple years ago and they converted to 3D glasses, but it was still the 2D, I'm watching it, and I love The Lion King. It's one of my favorite films of all time, but it did look dated because... And and it, you're, you're selling these films primarily to kids. I know that animated films can appeal to adults just as much as the little kids, but you're selling that movie and you're making money because kids want to go see them over and over again, and it just doesn't catch a kid's eye like I think it used to. So I don't think you're going to see a huge resurgence of it, but... I mean, look at look at the way people appreciate music now. All of a sudden, album players are coming back in the style. And, <laughs> and so there is going to be a market for 2D. It's just not going to be the huge blockbuster market like it was. You know, it's going to be really interesting because we just talked the other day about how the Iron Giant is getting re-released. Right. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the reaction to that is. And, and as you point out, it's going to be interesting for me to sit in that theater and, and see, try to put on my objective glasses... Does it feel but, dated? It'll mm-hmm. be interesting. But don't you think though that one it's, it's limited to it's like two or three days? Right? It's only a couple days, yeah. So, so because even even so, I think the majority of people for that one um, will be, and we talked about this on the show the other day. It was like the hardcore fans that are really going to see it. I'm wondering how many new fans will go in, and if there's any going to be any demand off of it. But I think that most people will be satisfied, even if you're watching it going, ah, oh, this seems a little dated. You're still going to feel those emotions that you felt watching it because it's such a great film. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to change over anybody's perspective from going, oh, maybe the movies need to be made like that again. Yeah, Lion King was number one at the box office when they re-released it that weekend, but I don't think anybody was like, I want to see more 2D movies. I think they just loved The Lion King. 